Welcome to another Tech Spotlight special edition of Automation Chat, where we highlight new and cutting edge industrial automation technologies you should know about. I'm your host, Teresa Hauk, Executive Editor of the Journal from Rockwell Automation and our Partner Network magazine. Today, I chat with Adam Shank. He's Regional Sales Engineer at Linmont USA, a Rockwell Automation Technology Partner. We talk about the company's DM01 industrial linear modules for the pharmaceutical industry. You'll learn how the direct drive system eliminates the need for high-wear components like belts, screws, cams, or gears, and thus reduces maintenance and extends service life. So here's my chat with Adam, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, Adam. It's great to see you, and thanks for joining me here for this Tech Spotlight episode of Automation Chat. Hey, thank you for having me, Teresa. So let's start with first you telling me and our listeners what Linmut does. So Linmut provides tubular linear servos for automation. Also mag springs, a constant force magnetic device to offset vertical loads and servo drives. And today we're going to talk about Linmut's DM01 guides, which are part of the P01 motor series. Is that correct? Correct. The P01 motor series designates it's a low voltage motor optimized for 72 volts. And the DM guide is an integrated guide to the actuator that utilizes that technology. And the DM guide is designed for the pharmaceutical market. Can you tell me about that? So with the DM guide, we've kept it easy to keep clean with an anodized aluminum housing. So smooth surfaces, but we use hard chrome guide rods with hollow shafts for higher stiffness. So we can have a higher direct payload mounted on it versus the H and B guides. There's other things too, like hard chrome plated guide rods, linear ball bearings with food and pharma grade lubricant, correct? We now have a new variant with the B03 that is clean and certified. So we'll get those certifications up on the website as soon as they're published. And these have a larger diameter and hollow guide rods. What advantage does that provide? So that gives the system higher stiffness. So we can have um, more payload mounted directly on the guided actuator and then a longer stroke length that we can support with the increased rigidity. And I understand it has a single part number. What does that do? Why is that a good thing? So the single part number, it makes it easy for customers to order that all the accessories are included in the module number. It makes it easy for the mechanical engineers to integrate it into their systems as the CAD file is a complete assembly with all the accessories they want. And for the the programmers, it makes it easy to configure the, the module in the motor wizard based on we know all the performance parameters with the system. So it's easy to sell, easy to integrate mechanically, and easy to integrate in the drive software. Okay. Talk to me about how easy it is to create a pick-and-place system. So it's a modular system. We've designed these to mount together to create quick XZ pick-and-place systems. So there's a grid that shows the different mounting combinations. We sell the pillars, we sell the adapter plate, and the base plate. So a full kit can be purchased from the map that you assemble in the configuration you want. Okay, I want to get this right now. The DM guides have a BE03 bearing type option, correct? Correct. Okay, explain why that's important. So that's for the the clean room certified versions. We picked a different bearing type and a different lubricant to meet clean room certifications. Depending on the guide size, it's ISO class 4 or 5 for the requirements we can meet. And, And where can listeners get more information about these guides? You can go to linmont.com and search the e-catalog and see all the various products we have. Great. I appreciate you coming on, Adam, and talking with me, and, and I've enjoyed our chat. No, thank you for having me, Teresa. I'm Teresa Hauk from The Journal Magazine, and we'll chat again. This has been a special Tech Spotlight edition of Automation Chat. If you enjoy this podcast, please leave us a five-star rating and a review on your podcast view on your podcast app. And don't forget, video of this podcast is available on our YouTube channel at bit.ly slash tj hyphen ra hyphen YouTube. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll chat again soon.